Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is one of those videos that I don't want to do this video because we live in RV full time if you don't know if you're new to the channel. And we've lived in this thing basically for two seasons now. A year and a half. And my underbelly is leaking. So it only leaks when I'm black tank flushing. So I have no idea what's wrong with this thing. So I'm going to have somebody come over today from my local dealer to look at it. I did take it in for service. They did fix my valves. That's probably something I should talk about in this video too. My valves started to stick where it was hard to open and close. And I told you guys in another video I did. Uh, maybe I'll put it here so you can check that video out. But I used to put a bunch of cleaning products down my black tank. Probably like maybe once a quarter I would like really deep clean it. Like I would take it on the road and just really like let that stuff get loose whatever whatever but it got to the point where when I would go to open the valves the only way I could open that valve is if I put Dawn soap down there and like try to get it kind of like really soapy so it could open and so I could dump the tank down so I don't know if that has to do with why now the tanks leaking I don't know so I have somebody coming today maybe we can figure out what it is but let's go outside and just let me show you what's going on Really quickly, be sure to subscribe to JB Reviews and make sure you have those bell notifications on. And be sure to check out my other channel, Attainable Exotic Cars. Now let's get back to the video. Alright guys, so we are under the RV right now. Well, not not all the way under. We're just somewhat under. But as you guys can see, I have an enclosed underbelly. I had to pop a hole right here. You can kind of see a drip right there. It's still dripping a little bit now. So it was normally dripping down the piping here. And once it gets like above three quarters full, it just kind of like streams down basically. So I have to figure out where that leak is coming from, isolate it, and maybe, maybe do some quick patchwork maybe. I don't know. So this kind of sucks because you don't want water in your underbelly, especially water coming from your black tank. That sucks. Luckily, I don't have any smells and the water's clean. I actually, I actually did taste the water to see if it was clean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I didn't do that. I'm just joking. I am not that kind of dude, but um, yeah, it's it sucks. So I need to figure out what's going on. Let's go on the other side here. All right, so my uh, basement's kind of junky, as you can see here. I had to undo this. I just turned the black tank flush on, and you can kind of hear it. There's no leaks coming through, from what I can tell. It just seems like it's all leaking within the underbelly. So maybe when my guy comes over, I'll show you guys when we pull down the underbelly, what's going on. Because that'll help us to kind of determine where that leak is coming from. I'm hoping it's just leaking from the black tank flush and we can just easily replace the part and be done. But if the leak is deeper inside of here, then unfortunately that's going to cause some other issues so if you don't know I, you know I, I need to do a video i've actually had another leak inside this rv we'll do a video on all the issues i've had on my keystone cougar all in all guys this has been a great rv we've used this thing every month for the season like we don't not use this thing but even in the winter time we took it out a few times so there wasn't really a month when we were not living in it that I didn't um, take it out. So we use this thing constantly. And if you talk to any of the um, professional RVers, they'll tell you if you don't use your RV, you know, at least a couple times a month, maybe, or if you just let it sit in storage for years, you're gonna accumulate a lot of issues. So you gotta make sure you use your RV. You gotta make sure you do your maintenance. Like something I have to do this year, and I'll probably do a video on it for you guys is I have to replace um, these trim pieces back here. My RV is from 2018. It's a 2019 model. And this lasted basically two and a half years. And this needs to be replaced. Actually, you know what, let's just call it three years because it really started really having issues end of um, last year. So figure two years these things last. So I had to replace these and you got to make sure you replace these because from what 
I was told by one of my friends is water sits up on these screws and then the water will find its way inside the RV. So you want to make sure you take care of that. Let me show you something else here. All right, so you can see right here, you can see some of the um, caulking is starting to really like crack. And that's in part to some of the, the sun too. So you want to make sure you redo this caulking too because if you let this stuff go too long, you can start getting water inside. So like up here, you can kind of see where it's like leaking down. I have to pull this off and make sure I recalk under there because water shouldn't be dripping down right here. It should only be coming off of this spout here. So you really want to make sure you get someone who knows what they're doing to just kind of walk around your RV, show you what you need to do. Beckley's actually gave me a schematic of what needs to be done. So be sure to you know just take it by and just have them give you an estimate if you don't want them to do it because it's going to cost you a lot of money it's going to cost probably about 500 bucks give or take to you know fix all the things that i have done like including the um these trim pieces that need to be replaced and i'm probably going to go ahead and do the bottom piece this one doesn't look as bad as the ones on the side but i'm going to redo this one too but yeah like i said you just have to walk around your rv make sure that you have caulk where it needs to be at so you don't get any water inside the RV. See on this side you can tell it's not doing it. So this side is fine. All right, so Mark should be here, my friend, and he's gonna kind of help us out. What's up, baby? Hey. And he's gonna kind of show us what we need to do to get this leak fixed. All right, guys, so I think we found out where it's leaking at. It's leaking up here. Let me see. Right here. So oh, okay. Right there down. So that's the tank right there. That's the black tank? Yep. Okay. Right. Looks like... You guys see the water right there. And there's definitely leaking there. You have that in the car, you said? Not that piece, I don't. Okay. That's, a, that's an easy fix, huh? Uh, hopefully. Okay. Hopefully it's just the... No, she's gonna have to go to shop. Okay. The uh, valve right here, uh -huh. it's cracked. The piece inside the tank there is cracked. Oh, gotcha. Do I need a new tank? Yep. The other option is, is try to grind it out, put some epoxy on it if you uh -huh. don't want to do a tank. Uh huh. Do you got insurance with them? Like a warranty? Yeah. Uh oh. Um. I can give you another option. What's that? Is try to clean it up, take some other plastic epoxy, mm -hmm. and put it around that. But well, that right there is cracked. And there it is. Is it pressure, you think, when a um, black tank flush it? Do you think it's putting pressure on it to make a leak? Or? Possible. Uh, when you come over here on this side, I'll hold it. If you look right there, there's a crack. Ah. So I mean, you could possibly take something like a submarine JB weld, uh -huh. grind, it, grind it up, clean it, put over it. Uh huh. But that's cracked, and that's a non-serviceable part. I see. So the only way that Beckley's will fix that will be replace this tank. How much do you think that tank would run? Three hundred bucks. Easily three hundred, and then your labor. Probably they're gonna hit you. I'd probably say five hours. Five hours. Yeah. Got you. Um. So that's what you're looking at. <laughs> There's no insulation on it over here too. I wonder if no. just over time the cold weather got to it. It's very well possible if there was water in the line. Yeah. You flushed it in the winter. Yeah. Very well possible for this broke. Gotcha. So maybe what I should start doing is flush, like pushing air through there once I'm done. Yeah. That's a good idea. Push air through there. Also, if you do decide to do this, mm -hmm. another good idea would maybe be put insulation in here. Okay. Around it. I'm surprised you didn't put insulation in here. Nope. Wow. 
Huh. So. All right, so I have an option to just try to repair the tank. And how long, I mean, that'll probably, what, last, what, maybe a year or so? It'll last you forever. Like, okay. But I can't guarantee it's going to be one of those you... Okay. It's either tr does or doesn't. I mean, okay. So that was clean water in here too, by the way. That was yeah, that is clean water. Okay. It's running out. What's running out is clean uh -huh. because it's coming out of the hose. Okay. Running over. So gotcha, it's gotcha. clean water. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. Stay tuned. I'm probably going to get the tank fixed um, or replaced, I should say, not fixed. We'll see. I got to figure out if that's the only place the tank is leaking from because I think there might be another leak. So we'll see. But on that note, say a prayer for me, and I'll see you guys soon.